Here is what you need to know if you want to track and photograph YU-55 on the night of November 8th. First, you need to be in either North or South America. This is the part of the planet that will be turned toward the asteroid when it is at its brightest. Then you need to know where to look. Visit the Minor Planet Ephemeris service at the URL listed here. Enter 2005YU55 as the object, as well as your location. Your location will be your longitude and latitude, which you can get from a GPS unit or Google Maps. If the longitude returned is negative, add 360 degrees to it. Or, if it is in the west, subtract the value from 360 degrees. List 2011-11-09 as the date and click to return the list of positions. You will also need a good star chart. The one shown here is from the Uranometria 2000.0. I use the right ascension and declination coordinates from the list returned by the Minor Planet Ephemeris site to mark the path of the asteroid on this chart. If you're planning to view or photograph the asteroid, you will need at least a 6-inch telescope and dark skies. At its brightest, the asteroid will never be over 100 times fainter than what the naked eye can see. The bigger the telescope, the better your chance of seeing it. Also, if your telescope has an equatorial mount, that will help. The asteroid will be moving east through the stars as it passes the Earth. The scope I will be using is a Celestron Edge HD with a 9 and a quarter inch primary on a C-GEM mount. Attached to the corrector plate is a hyperstar lens from Starazona, along with an ATIC color CCD camera. You should have a good idea of the resolution of your telescope and camera combination before you attempt to photograph the asteroid. If you submit a photograph to the astrometry group on Flickr, it will analyze the position in the sky along with the resolution of your setup. The asteroid will be moving quickly, about 8 seconds of arc per second at its fastest, so a wide field of view is a big help. I know that with my setup it will cross the field of view in a minimum of 7 minutes. This gives me a good chance to catch light from it. I've included some images I've shot with the setup to give an idea of the size of the field of view I'll be using to photograph the asteroid. With this knowledge, some clear skies, and a little luck, my next video will show the asteroid as it sails past the Earth. Let me know if you have success in viewing it in the comments below. Good hunting!